Hello everybody, this is Dave McDale learning DSLRvideo.com and today I'm shooting you, in fact, here I'll shoot, I'll show you what I'm shooting. That's what I'm shooting with, my old camcorder. Um, and what I want to show you is a little tip, trick, or whatever you want to call it. Um, not too sure how this is going to play out, so this will be an interesting experiment. But basically I use my neck uh, strap and I, when I'm doing a pan or tilt. I don't want to wear or even own you know, a large contraption on my shoulder for one of these cameras for stabilization. So I use this and typically when you're doing a pan uh, or a tilt you don't want to go too fast. You want to go pretty slow. Um, especially if it's really close in like this is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my books and I'm going to pan down as smooth as I can. So I get to about right here. Okay, and now I just filmed that at 19, uh, the highest resolution, 1080, uh, 24 frames a second. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to 720p. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let's get that. All right. And now it's, I'm going to go, what, 40% faster? almost twice as fast, so maybe instead of three and a half seconds, I'll do this in four seconds. All right, here we go. Now you might be wondering why I did it that fast. Basically, instead of doing it um, at normal speed, I'm in post-production, and now I'm going to show you what it looks like at uh, 40% speed. and compare the normal seven seconds versus the four second pan and tilt. And you can decide if that uh, helps stabilization at all. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.